Hello, I'm Floyd and welcome to World of Tanks. Today we're in the FV201, which is a, a tier 7 British premium uh, heavy tank. Um, which is not currently in the store at the moment, but um, yeah, I would imagine they're bringing it back for specials and, and stuff like that. Either way, it's a tank that you will see in the game. But it is a tank you're going to see in the game, so it's uh, uh, worth a look at uh, its strengths and weaknesses. Uh, where to shoot it, which isn't difficult with this tank. It only has 76mm of armour in the hull at the front, 50 at the sides and 38 at the rear. It does a little better on a turret, just like most of the British tanks do. Um, 152mm uh, of armour at the front, 88 sides and rear. Um, so it's very much a hold down vehicle, which is, is rather nice for this map that we're on. And there's no artillery as well, so it's all good. And keeping the front hidden on this tank is, is rather important. You too tend to lose your loader and your driver, and uh, not your loader, your ammo rack and your driver an awful lot um, because it's so soft. So I do carry uh, a large um, repair kit and um, uh, what's the one where you bring the crew back? <laughs> what's that called? I carry a large one of those anyway. <laughs> anyway, moving on, yeah, we're going to see a nice rate of fire in this tank, it fires every three and a half seconds, with an average damage of 150, uh, prim, um, penetration is 171 with AP, goes up to 239 with premium, uh, with HE is a mere 38, um, but you know, there's a few tanks you will see that, that that will be okay on, but the damage for the H, uh, HE isn't a massive jump forward, it only does 190 compared to the 150 you get with standard AP. And just like the rest of the, or most of the British tanks, at the same time, it's pretty good as well. I can't remember exactly what it is, <laughs> so you can have to trust me on that one. But hopefully you'll be able to see in the game. It aims in pretty quick. It tends to hit wherever you're shooting at. Um, there's a couple of shots on here. I, 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 I fluff and, that's, and then fire anyway. Um, but the ones that I actually aim, it does tend to penetrate through. Uh, we're going for the, is it the IS-2 going to try and we, the only thing we can really do with him if we can show just enough we can hit him just in we've got the amx sneaking around the side that was the one that was at the front a little while ago we're going to move forward and try and get him right in the commander's coupler there you go uh, reload it reloads fast enough so you can pull back and then pull straight forward again it's loaded oh, that was a dog shot that was my fault and then straight in again and it's just, it's taking it off him like 150 every three and a half seconds. There's a little bit more because I'm moving backwards and forwards. I'm not sitting there waiting for it. Uh, the only part of the turret he seems to see of mine is the sloped part. It's just, just behind the gun, which is pretty much where you'll bounce most of your shots. So the issue moved in and finished him off. We've got a Dicamax down, down the back. Now he's got a hefty gun, but he's also got around about an eight second reload. But he can do about two, I think it's 250 damage per shot. I've got one of those, I won one a while back with the, one of those missions they did, Now I've played a few games in it, but uh, I'm not brilliant with the, the fixed turrets, to be fair, um, to be fair or the non-turreted tanks. It's something I do need to get an awful lot more practice of. So we're going to move around, we've got the the XP, or the 01 XP. He, he's nearly dead anyway, should be able to put a shot into him. Will we get another one off? No, we fired anyway, but it was a dead tank. Uh, they're pretty much just mopping up now. That, that Dipamax is still alive. Oh, he's dead. Okay, so we've got the MO in front. Again, another hold down vehicle. It's got awesome gun depression on that. Not a great tank. I didn't didn't enjoy it very much. I have got a video of it. I called it the skip. Uh, when I was driving it, I just wanted to put rubbish in the back uh, and then um, then abandon it somewhere. It, it wasn't a, a great vehicle. Again, does have a hefty gun though, so it's not something you want to get in the front of if you can overly help it. Uh, we've got to put one into him, got another IS in front. We should be able to chase him back with the rate of fire. So we can knock out his driver or tracks. No, he's gone round the corner. Okay, there's, we've got a Tiger over here as well. Uh, the team are absolutely stomping on it now. They're, as you see tanks, they're pretty much getting damaged and disappearing, so you've got to be fast to get their shots in. Um, getting back to the, the tank quickly, we've got them. Um, we've done the, uh, the. I think we've covered most of the important stuff on it, but uh, the top speed is around 30 km, 31 kilometres an hour, um, which is, is okay. So, I mean, you're a heavy tank at the end of the day, I suppose, and uh, is it, uh, that's about average, I think, for for the tanks of that tier of the heavy variety, anyway. Um, the view range is base 100, 380, so that's not too bad either, and the signal range is 5 570. 
So all in all, I think it's a quite a well-rounded tank. I mean, if if you are someone who enjoys playing the British lines anyway, because I think the, the British style is, is, is slightly different than most of the vehicles. You, are, you tend to be very soft at the base, and then you, you have a little bit more on the turret, but the turret isn't overly tall, so getting hold-down positions can be quite difficult. There are a number of places you can use, but it's very situational. It's not available on every map. Himmelsdorf, for instance, if you're top top tier, going up the hill may not be the best thing for your for the team to do. But then you hang around at the bottom, and uh, and you're pretty much going to get pwned if they can see your hull. If you can keep that hidden and just show your turret, you've got uh, more chance of um, putting up a good fight. And with the rate of fire, you'll be surprised at exactly how much damage you would just pump out by the end of the game. So if you get a lot of opportunities to shoot at, at the enemy team, um, the damage will just mount up real quick uh, because of the rate of fire and the, the penetration is, is, is not bad um, for its tier. Um, all in all, I love this tank. This is one of, one of my favourite um, premium vehicles. It used to be the E25. But I've been playing this one an awful lot just recently. Okay, so we earned enough for a Class 1 Mastery and a few other medals. I think one of those is high caliber as well, so that's nice. There you go, just like I say, you just clock up the damage in this. 2,600 damage. And that's spread over 28 shots. 24 of them here, 18 of them penned. Uh, we received 4 hits. Uh, one of those penned and we obviously blocked 3. Uh, and we blocked uh, 1,000k of damage. And in terms of credits, we made um, 67 and a half thousand. Uh, take the ammo bill away from that, and it puts it to 60 and a half thousand k. Don't necessarily think it's one of the best premium uh, money makers out there, but uh, it's still not bad.